Hello KG2 students. Today we are going to have a new lesson, a new sound, which is oo sound. It's oo. Can you look to my mouth? It's oo. My lips are doing like this. Oo. Oo. How can I write the oo sound? We are going to have two O's. Double O. Let's see together. Backwards, please. Okay, here are the two O's or the double O. Look to this mouth, look to her lips. They are doing like this, ooh, ooh. Ooh, like in what? Like in word, boots. Look here, b, b. Double O, oo, b, oo, boo, t, boot, 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 like this boot for men, or like this boot for women. Okay. What else do we have? B. A, ba, b, ba, b, u, ba, bu, ba, bu, n, baboon, baboon. What's baboon? Baboon is a kind of animal. It looks exactly like a chimpanzee or like the monkey. Look, this is the baboon. Look, we call this baboon. Baboon. It has the oo sound at the end syllabus. Look. This is another baboon. Baboon. Okay. Another word that has the oo sound. B. R. Oo. M. Br. Oom. Broom. Broom. What's the broom? When you clean your home, you use this thing to clean the floor, or to clean the mat, or to clean the carpet. This is the broom. Yes. So you are using the broom in cleaning. Broom. Broom. Broom has the oo sound. Broom. Okay. Let's see another one. G, U, S, and the E at the end, the end. This is goose, goose. And goose is a kind of bird. It is a relative to the duck, okay? Look, this is the goose. Something exactly looks like the duck. Goose, goose. We have different uh, colors for the goose. Sometimes you can find it like this, sometimes you can find it white, and sometimes you can find it like this. It different from the duck as it has longer neck. Her neck is a little bit longer than the duck. Okay? Okay. Here we have m, u, S and the E. It's moose. Moose. The moose also is a kind of animal. Look, it's from the buffalo family. It's from the buffalo family. This is moose. And it has a unique horns. Can you see to its horns? It's so nice. This is the moose. And here are different uh, pictures and photos for the moose. Look here. The horn here is different from here. Yes, this is the moose. And it lives in uh, Africa and in Australia. This is H U. Hoof. 
hoof. What's the hoof? The hoof is the feet for the horse or the donkey or uh, the goat. This is the hoof, this thing. This thing is the hoof, the feet. Its feet, we call it hoof. Hoof. Look, this is a different animal. But this is hoof and this is hoof, which is belong to different animals. Okay. Huh. Ooh. Hoop. Hoop. What's the hoop? This is the hoop. Look, this man is holding a hoop. Sometimes we can exercise in the gym with the hoop and sometimes we can play with it. Like this girl, she's playing with hoop. And this girl, she's also playing with the hoop. So we can use hoop in different things. This is hoop. It's a plastic circle and we can use it in exercise, in sports, in gym, or we can use it like this in playing games. Okay. Another word that has the oo sound, p, oo, l pool and of course all of you know what's the pool and you like to go there in summer in very hot weather you can go to the pool in uh, hotels you can go to the pool in your club and sometimes you can go to the pool in your home look we have different photos for the pool here this is a pool very very large one and here is a pool in a club and here is another pool. Okay. Let's guess what is this. I will show the pictures first and the photos for it. Then guess what's this. Look, it's not the whole house. It's a part of the house. Let's see another photo. It's the upper part of the house. And what is this red part? Yes, it's the roof. Roof. The roof has the O sound. R, O, double O, and roof. F, of course, F. So this is roof. Roof. The upper part of the house. This is the roof. This is the roof. And this is the roof. Okay, what else? Well, we have here three different what? Yes, three different rooms. Rooms. This is a bedroom, and this is a living room, and this is a dining room. But all of them are what? Yes, all of them are rooms. But this is bedroom, living room, and a dining room. So all of them are room. Room. R. U. M. Very easy one. Here. R. U. M. Room. Room. Okay. Another word. Can you guess what's this? Is it kind of an insect? No. It's kind of plant. It's not a kind of plant, it's a part of the plant. It's the part of a plant. And by the way, this part of the plant, it's all the time hiding in the soil. We cannot see it unless we took it off the soil. This part, we call it root. Root, which is very important for the plant and it gives it the water and it gives it the food and it makes it grow more and more. So we call it root. Root. And also we have different shapes for root for different plants, of course. Look. R U T. Root. Very easy. And 
let's see pictures of different look this is a small root and this is a big one but there is bigger it's for the trees look very hard roots it sticked to the uh, soil okay s s t s t says what s t s t s t u so it's s t u s t u s t u l s t u l stool what's this tool you are going to tell me miss mayada it's a chair why do, why are you saying this is stool yes this is a different kind of a chair it's not a normal chair it's a chair that has no back and it has very long legs like this so we call this chair stool so the stool is backless chair and it has very very high legs and this is another shape of the stool but also it doesn't have back or uh, and it has very long legs as well okay again this word start with s k this is s k s k s k s k <laughs> no here we are not going to say the h. The h is silent, stands zipping. So we just pronounce the s, k, and the u. Don't pronounce the h here. So it's going to be sk, u, l, school. Very easy word. All of you go to school. So you know what's the school. Let's see pictures and photos for the school look and it's written here sk u l school school like your school look this is m s e school this is your school i hope inshallah you are going back to your school okay this is spoon spoon can you eat your rice without spoon can you drink your soup without spoon? So this is the spoon. And we have many uh, different kinds of spoon. This is a metal spoon. And sometimes your mom use wood spoon or wooden spoon. Okay? Spoon is very easy. It's sp, 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 oon, spoon, spoon. Okay. Another word, z, and this word is very easy. Very easy, you can say it by yourself. I'm not going to say it, I'm just going to write for you and you will say it before I say it, okay? Mm, what's this? Yes, very easy. It's z, u, zoo, zoo. All of you like to go to the zoo, right? What's the zoo? It's a big park and it has many different animals. You can see there the giraffe, the monkeys, the lion, many different animals there. Look, this is the zoo and it's written over there, zoo. And by the way, you can see also birds and reptiles there. Okay, here is the zoo and this is the zookeeper, by the way. You are going to take it later. This is the zookeeper, the man who is feeding the animals in the zoo. Okay. Remember that all the time when we uh, take any lesson that has different, a new sound, we are uh, thinking together if we have another word other than my words to you. So I want you to think what else I can uh, see anywhere or hear words that has the oo sound, the oo sound. Mm. I can hear someone saying something, the other saying something. Let's see that I asked many of you about the words that has the oo sound and they gave me very, very nice words. Let's see them together. Okay. These are your words. It's not my words. Your words. You are super and you give it to me. 
Okay. The first one is when you want to search for something in your network or in your mobile, what you are going to go? You are going to who? Yes, you are going to Google. Google. So Google application or uh, this uh, site gives you information about anything. It has the oo sound. Google. Google. Okay, lots of you are uh, eating this thing, which is, yes, it's noodles. Noodles. Okay, noodles has the oo sound. What else? Yes, look here. N oo does. Noodles. What else? Shampoo. We took this word before when we were uh, doing the lesson of the sh and ch, and it has the sh sound at the beginning, but at the end it has the oo sound. Look, shampoo. Shampoo. Okay. And of course, now we are all entering the Zoom, zoom. So zoom has the oo sound. And by the way, zoom also has another meaning. When you want to see something very clear and you want to make it bigger, you are going to zoom it, zoom it. Okay? It means it means that you want to come more, more and more near to it to make it bigger. Okay? So this is zoom shampoo. Google, noodles, this is extra words and this is your words. And this is the end for today's lesson, which is OO sound. Thank you very much.